Hello there. So, um, as many of you out there, well, I hope many of you out there are having the same issue with um, Fortnite performance mode on AMD cards. So, as an AMD owner myself, I also have the issue of getting FPS drops very frequently. Now, to tell to prove that I do have an AMD card, could go take a look. I've been 6800 XT. Uh, if you're wondering which manufacturer is from, it's by Phantom Gaming. Uh, not Phantom Gaming, it's by Asrock. It's a Phantom Gaming version. It's not defective, but it works great in every other game. It's just on Fortnite, specifically performance mode, the rendering mode. You get a lot of FPS drops. Now, the most common fixes I've seen, and if you're familiar with the thread, On AMD, there is a very, very long thread, four pages long. Um, I read through every single page, and I think a lot of you say the best thing to do is go to tooting and lock the clock of your GPU. Now, that's not going to work because actually, in performance mode, if you look at the benchmarks for some of the AMD cards with this issue, the utilization sits very low. Even with the locked clock, it does nothing. I've locked it at 2384. I've locked it at 100 megahertz lower too, which is the suggested setting for 6,000 cards. And it has it. Well, if anything, it makes the FPS even worse. So that's not going to work. If we have a look at the drivers here, for those of you who think it's a driver issue, 22.5.2. This was nowhere near recent but the one thing we want to see here is performance drop may be experienced while playing Fortnite with multi-threaded rendering and direct x blah 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 11 on AMD graphics card products okay so th that's this is the main issue performance drops basically FPS drops everywhere right uh, for now if you look at a mega city I'm getting around 90 to like 110 FPS Although, my system, as again, I'll show you my specs, my system is nowhere near that bad, right? I should be keeping like 200 and four, even 360. So, I, my processor is nowhere near bad. I've got 32 gigs of RAM. Everything checks out. So, the known issue here, right, 22.5.2, so obviously, logically, we would want to go to the next one, 22.6.1, which they actually claim, quote unquote, they fixed this issue. But this was 22.6.1. Right now we're on 23.5.1. Now it's been like, I wouldn't say a, a year, but it's been a while, and the issue is still here. Um, for the cards that I know who have this issue are the 6700 XT, 6700, 6800, and 6800XT. But that's just my knowledge. I may be wrong. Don't quote me on it. Now to show you the FPS drop. Actually, well, you should know that with performance mode on Fortnite, you're getting very, very low frames in certain areas. And <coughs> my theory for that is that for DX11, um, specifically for Fortnite, for AMD GPUs, it's very, very, very unoptimized. It's unplayable because, I'll show you later, if you switch your memory mode to DX12, DirectX12, your FPS goes right back up. It's normal, it's great, but the frame times are higher and you get higher input delay, which is not optimal for competitive players. Well, I wouldn't say I'm a very competitive player, but I enjoy playing ranked, and the input delay really gets in the way sometimes. So, to the fixes, the main fix right now you can do, and if you're looking through this thread here, uh, over back, back a few pages, they'll tell you to go with um, custom AMD drivers. They go by Ammermean, I'm pretty sure. AMD third-party drivers. Um, 
you could try it out. Uh, I got through half a video of the tutorial, but I didn't go through with it. It's too complicated, and I feel like for if you just play Fortnite, right, you maybe go for it. But I play a lot of other games too, and I want to keep the uh, most up-to-date drivers because for other games, this graphics card works great. I'll tell you that much. Right for Tarkov, for League, um, Valorant, everything works. So, anyways, so for Fortnite, for fixes, if you want to use performance mode or play competitively, but with high FPS, low stutters, no drops, and consistent performance, especially in those end games and wherever you're fighting on Loot Island or Mega City, my number one tip, well my only fix for you would be to go to DX12 and get mobile builds. Now to show you how to do that, there's actually two ways. You could go to your game user settings, so how you would do that is press Windows and R. You'll bring up the run engine. Type in percent local app data percent. Press OK. We'll bring you over here. Scroll down until you see if I can find it. Happy game. Oh, Fortnite game, I mean. Go to saved. Config. <coughs> Windows client. And game user settings. Now make sure the box for read only is unticked. Unticked. For now it's ticked for me. Because I finished editing it. But when you're starting, make sure this is unticked. No check mark. If you want to click in there scroll all the way down until you find and by the way if you switch your perform if you switch your running mode to DX12 you gotta restart your game so I would do this without the game open you wanna find shadows put it on zero turn off grass to put all these to zero If we want put grass as false put motion blur false everything else false you can turn off especially grass because if you know DX12 gets you that really um it looks like console FPS uh, console graphics right there's grass there's shadows everything's moving it's too much for competitive so turn off grass and then go down here make everything zero so it gives you the lowest DX12 settings. Anyways, to show you what this actually looks like, let's out Chrome. We'll launch the game and I'll show you what DX12 would look like with mobile builds and the alternative way to get mobile builds on DX12. Now, also another tip to help you AMD users uh, increase your FPS for Fortnite, even on DX12, is to actually, it's a very old trick, but I find that it works. So, go to wherever your Fortnite is. For me, it's in program files and <coughs> Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite game, binaries, Win64, and it's in shipping. Well, this is what you want to change because, first of all, you can see the size is the highest, and also, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's the application. So, show more options, properties. You want to go to compatibility. Disable full screen optimizations and then change high DPI settings over at high DPI scaling behavior performed by application. It's a very old trick, but it lowers the input delay and gives you a little bit more FPS. Now, let's start Fortnite. Alright. So, as you can see, I'm on DX12. It shows 60 FPS because I modified my frame rate to be 250 frames per second, which is 10 above my monitor's refresh rate, 240. So, you don't need to worry about that. But the other way, or I would say the simplest way to get mobile builds on DX12 is you have to put your game on DX12 first of all, restart your game if you were on performance. Take all of these boxes to off the, the lowest setting. So off, 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 near, low, 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 off. I know some of you will get very um, disappointed to turn your view distance to near because then you don't see the weapons. But to get mobile builds, this is what you got to do. So turn everything like that. It doesn't matter what else. It just matters that everything here 
is set to the lowest. All right. Now, to prove to you that you actually do get mobile builds, we'll go into a really quick game. Now, I'm not going to do benchmarking for performance mode to show you that the FPS is lower than DX12. Um, I'm assuming that those of you who clicked on the video are already having various issues with performance mode. Now, as to my theory of why performance mode sucks so much, not only is DX11 unoptimized for these AMD cards, I believe that it actually messes up your multi-threaded rendering uh, when you're using DX11 like based rendering modes so such as performance mode it basically tells your GPU that you know just stop working and then multi threading is off but I'm not an expert so all I know is that performance mode sucks so for a you AMD users don't use it right use the X12 put everything on low for now this is what we're gonna have to deal with until AMD decides to fix something I've contacted Epic Games many times about this issue it seems like it's not a game issue because if you use a nvidia card everything goes away it's normal you can see all the big pros out there using performance mode they're keeping 360 stable they're using nvidia cards so anyways you can see now we have mobile builds everywhere it is mobile but they do jiggle when you hit them and i played with this for actually a good while most of this season, uh, Arena ranked before ranked came out, and I started to appreciate the uh, mo the DX12 rendering mode a bit more. Although you can see the lighting, you know, it's a little bit extra, which of course turns down your FPS. You got like the ambient lighting right there. You got, you know, it, the game looks a little too good sometimes. You know, but it's what it is. And personally, I enjoy the little jiggle on the boats. But uh, yeah, your input delay is gonna be higher. Sorry for you guys who are just wanting the lowest input delay out there, but for us, we gotta deal with this for now. But yeah. So that's a quick fix for you AMD users uh, struggling to get any performance on performance mode. So once again, AMD card users. Not all. Not all AMD users have this problem. Um, I think if you have an AMD GPU and a CPU with smart memory turned on, I don't think you have this issue. I, I'm not too sure. But all I've seen right now is that it's pretty random. Some people don't have it. Some people do. For me, I have an AMD GPU with an Intel CPU, and I'm having this problem. So if you... If your rig is pretty nice, you got a good graphics card, you got a good CPU, and you're wondering why um, you're getting really low FPS on performance mode, go ahead and try out DirectX 12, put everything on low, you'll have mobile builds, go into a game, look at Mega City, see what FPS you get.